hope uh, the mic is good today. That nobody has an issue with the mic. All right, this is the survey, if you will, of the location. The Titanic is here, bottom left. Let me get you, um, let's just look at this. This is a 200 meter radius. Um, and I'll say this, this is the last, let's just jump to what, this is my round one of sharing with you. I did talk, share this with Zachary. He's the only other person I shared it with this morning. And it's uh, quite a sophisticated debris field. Okay, here's your last known position of the Titan at 33, 4,600 meters. And it says debris, TG, TGT1, and let's, let's uh, color code it a bit. Here's TGT2 and TGT1 again. Up here is, just for color coding, um, thruster mount, okay, and thruster, oh, sorry, I didn't change the uh, uh, coloration. Uh, thruster mount, and here's thruster and drop weight. Here's the end caps and the metal rings. Uh, this is where the, uh, where I believe that the Titan implosion we see. Here's the tail cone right here. This is reported to be, um, they use the, the distance, so let's correct this distance now, a spread. Remember I said they're about 900 feet apart. Let's correct that. They used a distance off the bow of the vessel, so they went this triangulation and then this triangulation. So that does not give us a distance of 900, um, approximately 900 feet apart. It's more like 100 um uh, it's a 200 meter radius, um, so this is more like uh, maybe um, 50 meters apart, 150 feet or so apart from each other, from here to here. Maybe you know I've got to refine this. You guys are getting it first, and I want to just release it to you, and then I've got to refine it. So don't don't don't. It is no stamping on this. All right, no don't don't hold me to it. Okay, so here's the ultimate. What we what I see is what took place here's the last known position they this this debris tg1 tgt1 and they, they did report dropping two weights um i am not sure if this was existing debris from another drop or not but l let's say it is not um but let's move on at this point this grouping here with the yellow with the uh yeah with the uh, bluish color around it. We see small white debris, and down here you see um, white debris. All right, then you see a field of debris, you see small debris, small white debris. But So I theorize that they were trying to release, as I said in one of the other videos, that they were trying to go back up. And Pugface, Pugface, he didn't send me the link yet, but he says the attorneys are suing, saying that they were aborting the mission. And I think this is uh, supports that data supports aborting, which um, aborting the mission, which I stated already. I think they were coming back up based on their speed and everything else, and they're dropping the weights too soon. This was not a soft landing. All right, this was get the fuck out of there. So um, I think they were being nice with the communications up top, or and someone theorized in the comments that they held back on communications. Or the Coast Guard didn't release all the communication back and forth. Um, this is a theory. So I think they let the bladder go here. This is the bladder release, and this gets you your white. Um, first off, let's do a bias. Let's just say it implodes here, and all of the debris field is above us here. And so the it's like a Claymore mine. Everybody, all, it blows all the debris this way. Is that even possible? Well, two sides of that sub submersible is white, so no. So let's just eliminate that. All right, let's have it implode in here, all right, and then look at the white. Here's all the white here and the end cap. Um, so, no, I don't have that either. Um, this might be the, it says capsule, so this is the last part known, and this is that ring we see in the floating and the, uh, on the bottom of the beach sitting by itself. So this is the one with the lens. This is the orientation, I believe. So I told you, I said, I think they had minutes to hours. I um definitely definitely some minutes here this traversing is about um it's about half to about 100 meters i do not know why the coast guard why the coast guard used this 200 meter radius uh and left all this out of here 
it could have clearly put the 200 meter radius circle around this debris field, which you observe here. And that would have been much more refined. So it would be from here to here, the circle the radius. All right, and then we would know uh, it, that, that would be a better uh, alignment. They have north here, south here, w east here, and west. So for clarity, here's the bow of the Titanic. When they do the triangulation where the one says 200 meters off the bow, this is this direction. And when they say um, 1,600 feet, that would be that direction, tail foam. So they're giving us two different coordinates, not from each other, and that was important. We visualized that it was in line. When I say we, I'm talking about me, myself, and I, visualized in alignment. Now I clearly see it's triangulation off of here. Um, they didn't give the other measurement here, which would have given away triangulation. You know, that, that, that's something that they should have given, saying it especially, or give, it's north. If they would have said, it's uh, east, south, um, this much. And then the other one, they would have said, it's north, um, west. Or west, yeah, well, on the west side. Of that so that would be northwest now this would be uh south also it's on the south side so it would have been uh mm, east both of them would have been east southeast if i've dropped this line down from north both would have been on the south east no here's south here's east so that would have been between north and south see the twist if i drop the line here that's north if it goes south so it's between north and south that's both of them. I don't want to trouble you too much with that. Getting into weeds bullshit. So let's move over. The, the circle can reach around here within 200 meter debris field. And this is small round debris. This is maybe something floated over there. So you can tighten this up even more, the debris field. Let's bring back in. I, I want you to see that. Let's bring back in my drawing now. So all that, that's that. But this is now um, expanded view, if you will. So I believe that they came up, they were, they were bailing here, TG1, T, unidentified, and TG, uh, unidentified to me, TG2, 2. Now, this would, you would think this would be the steel pipe, right, uh, weight. They're, they do not have a legend that reveals this at this point that I could find. So we'll, I'll get back to you about TG1 and T. I'm just getting you quick data real fast. I only got this an hour ago. I'm trying to process it, and um, so what I have is that they last known position here, they lose communications. They make it over to here, but before so, they drop skids. See the skid? Skid steel banding debris and skid here. Thruster and drop weights. Interesting, the thruster and drop weights. So when they drop skids, do they, do they does it fuck around and pull off a drop weight? Um, but let's let's look at this kind of this way. Here's thruster, thruster, thruster. They have four thrusters. Um, apparently, we don't get the other um, thruster. Here is the rear end. I've colorized these two because this is some crazy shit here. I think that they blew their airbag to be able to come up. Upon blowing their airbag, that's when the tail cone came off. I support the tail cone coming off. Remember that? Faulted connection, I said sheared or something like that. Um, I'm trying to get it for you. The All right, so I'll give you that one real quickly. That's that dome there. There, I'm not going to track that with you. Um, all right, so here's the airbag. And the airbag has is looks like it drapes over the system and behind a spine here. And that spine is secured at the same location, theoretically, at the same location as the back top spine of the, uh, of the tail cone. So when they inflate this, this bends this, puts the bolt in shear back there, and I think it sheared it. I think it sheared the fucking bolt. That's how we get the back end coming off now. Now, are these the TG1s? I, I don't know. There's the cage, they talk about rattling like, that comes off when you look at the parts there. They talk about the undercarriage and the weight. So um, you can try to, you can pause this and go back and forth and communicate with me if you want. But I don't want to make this a long video. So let me get you the, hold on George, hold on baby. So then we get uh, this airbag, the system, fuck. It, it probably would have worked. Here's the different thrusters. 
it probably would have worked. Um, I'm trying to get your top view of the of the uh, uh, top view of the outside exterior of the right here. So there's a strap that goes back here. All right, I think that uh, when an airbag is inflated, it created a shear in that ball. That gets, gets it gets me my magical bolt failure that I keep looking for because this hole is still present. It is not sheared. There's the back of it. There's the airbag. Looks like they've already put it in place. Um, and is it separate? Is it, it does it have its own connection here? But nevertheless, the airbag. Did they put a stitching down there that was supposed to hold, you know, the air inflate both sides, air goes across and the stitching it holds and it, this bag will only inflate the outside wall. I don't, um, I don't, I don't have that. It's, it's, I mean, you could, you could definitely engineer whatever you want to engineer. Um, so let's ignore that. This should be a better image of what I'm trying to describe. So the airbag is not on at this point, or it is, and we just can't identify it. This is version, how oh, I can tell by the brackets. I can't tell on this one. All right, so the, uh, the airbag inflates. It puts a, it, 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 it uh, gets rid of the cowling. Also, the, uh, uh, by default, because the thrusters are on the cowling, off goes the cowling. Um, so let's come back here. Here's a um, white debris, and here is a, so look at this one: black rectangular curved debris. Don't don't get too caught up in the curved black rectangular curved debris as anything. Then um, it's rectangular, all right. So rectangular could be the skids. Remember they changed them over, I think, to carbon fiber, and it could have bent. Here's our skids, our skids and our skid debris. So I believe they dropped the skids at this point. All right, they're trying to go up. And maybe they could have been okay, but cracking increased it. Increased it. Increased. Increased it. What the fuck was that? So increased. Um, they dropped the skids. So here, this goes down. They dropped the skids. Um, and then here, they dropped the... Uh, they, they blow the airbags, and then we get our, our thrusters here and here. The thrusters on the cowling, so it arcs when they go, when they when they start inflating. I think it cocks backwards, like a rotational to the right, if you will. Let's rotate to the right clockwise. It puts the tail in because you know, the air is going in. It makes it more floaty at the front now. It does that. It creates along with the weight of the rear end. Even though it has some the foam on it, right? The, the floaty foam. Let's say that. It pops the, it shears that bolt. It shears it. It gets in tension because of that strap, that bolt, that uh, strap, the back strap starts getting bent, it crowned, and it puts, it shears the bolt. Off goes the back end. Our skids were already released, as you, as you recall. And then we left with multiple thrusters. It floats, it goes, so it goes from here to here, the vessel does, travels approximately, this is 200 meter circle, so travels approximately 100 meters to right about here maybe. When they blow it, I'm not gonna put, I'm putting it center line a bit. I'm not having them way out here. I'm, I'm doing here just because I am. I, I'm, I'm gonna amend this after my brain processes it longer. Um, so this is my bias version one. So it, 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 they do that, it does this, it drops off some synthetic, some syntactic foam. And then from here, it starts working its way over. We lose a thruster. Here's a thruster opposite sides, here and here. They're kind of in line with each other, and here's a thruster and drop weights. It could be that the implosion started here, at mid midline, right about here. Um, and it, well, I'm sorry, midline would be right about there also. So midline would be about here. Thrusters going equally apart from each other, being ejected off the framing in a, in a um, 
flea flicker type thing like a punt because they're bolted to the metal frame all right so it would have to be a sudden sudden shock wave to do it so maybe right about here where the tail is after going that way and going here that the uh, the implosion happens and they got to make it another 50 meters over to here this gets us a small debris field small scattered debris there's a thruster debris target 24 inch with light general um, debris okay I don't know what's like this is and I, and I don't like my last part where I said it implodes here I have it making it closer over to here again and we're getting our um, our, our failure Keep in mind, this says end caps. So they, they're putting both of these together, and the metal ring is here. So it spiraled off, maybe hit the beach, and rolled over to there. But remember, we have that uh, acrylic Q thing. So I still have it. Um, it, it didn't roll because the acrylic Q would, would, would leave a trail in the, in the sand. Maybe we will see that. Also, it might straighten it back out and flatten it, roll it back into, roll it out. Um, so I'm getting it to you, getting this to you first. I hope that you guys enjoy it and you can pause this, pause this video for this. I'll refine this. I just need to work on a few things. TG1, TGT1, TGT1 again, and then TGT2. All right. And that's where I am, that they came from here. They lost, they lost communications here. This is when they all should hit the fan, the last message up. They made it over to here. I'm sorry, they dropped the skids here. So going over, they drop skids. All right, they try to come up. Maybe they do go up in different elevation here. And they said, let's go again. Let's, let's add another bump to this uh, increase to just get the fuck out of here. So they blow the crap, the cowling. They blow the airbags. The airbag shears that top bolt across the back end. It drops that, and now you're just back into a spiral spiral back down into the because uh, now you lose your airbags etc spiral back down into the uh, location where we see the final resting place this is my again version one I, I I'll refine this just like I just told you it's no longer a 900 foot uh, debris field uh, span this is actually a a, um, a traverse this direction this direction and then back and then back to here. So love you guys. Take care and